four reasons why you will marry the wrong person or four reasons why you are most likely to marry the wrong person hello everyone it's the psalmist here and on this video i'm going to give you four reasons why you're most likely going to marry the wrong person and if you watch to the end of the video i will give you a tip on how to find the right person specifically for you so here we go four reasons why you will marry the wrong person you will judge from appearances well for men it is like she has to be pleasing to the eye she has to be beautiful most likely young and we have known that there have been men who were found women who are younger who are beautiful but it just didn't work out so what is it is it is it that maybe being beautiful doesn't count or being young doesn't count in terms of a woman to a man all these things do count it's just that that is not what you're supposed to be looking for in a woman and in terms of a a woman he has to be successful he has to be able to provide for her he has to be able to give her the things that she needs to live a good life no? but we've also have seen how you know people a woman can find a man who's not necessarily you know having all this is but rich loaded and handsome and having a nice body but at the end it doesn't work out so that's the first reason the first mistake that you're gonna make is that you're gonna judge your you know prospective spouse according to the way that they are or according to the way that they appear or according to what they have in their hands or in their pockets moving on let's move on to the second reason the second reason that you're gonna make as a mistake is that you're gonna think too much about the future you know when you meet somebody for the first time and then you feel like wow she is or he is sometimes you think about the stuff that you're gonna do the stuff that you're gonna have a lot of women even do think about how handsome or how beautiful the kids are gonna be because of how handsome the man is or the kind of genes that the man has so some men also think about you know how much you know the, the the girls are gonna be beautiful if they're gonna look like their mother so there's so much think about the future there's so much thinking about going to paradise going to paris going to do all these things so there's too much thinking about the future the two spouses or the two possible spouses are ignoring exactly what is on the table and what's on the table what's on the table is that person that you're looking at and they are clearly presenting themselves to you but you are infatuated by the first mistake which is their appearance and you're thinking too much about the future you're thinking too much about what you can have and what you can achieve you're not really looking at can we really do this as a team can we really make this institution which you're going to build work in terms of what we're bringing so that is the second mistake that people make they think too much about the future and they ignore what the person is presenting before them maybe what is going on before you that is the second mistake that you're gonna make you're gonna think too much about the future the third mistake moving on the third mistake that you're gonna think about or the third mistake that you're gonna make is that you're gonna think too much about the past everyone has a past i have a past you have a past and most of these past may not necessarily be very good past you see so in society we realize how a criminal no matter what he has done even though he has paid the price of having been to jail having done the time the required time without any parole and coming out coming out possibly as a person who is in the air of their ways we always see that person as a criminal we always see that person as a transgressor we always see as that person as a and a reject to society an outcast a kind of person who must not be given a chance for redemption to correct the mistakes that they've made in the past so we make the same things in terms of looking for a wife or a husband we look at what the person has done in the past we're not looking at what they're trying to be we're not looking at the possibility that, that you know these days this person just talks different he just walks different and when i'm saying walks different i'm just saying that his lifestyle is different he looks like he wants to change but for every change to occur there must be someone who believes in that change when a person speaks to you a person who is a possible husband or a possible wife 
who does not really have that much of a good past but when they present themselves to you you can even hear in the character of their voice in the way that they present themselves that they see the errors of their ways that they don't hide them they present them before you and tell them that you know what in the past i used to live this kind of lifestyle and i have seen how terrible the lifestyle was and they even give you the examples of how destructive that lifestyle was in terms of the things that they've done which are destructive and in terms of the same in terms of the things that other people who are living the same lifestyle have made in terms of the mistakes that they've made and how destructive they were and they tell you about if in that you know in the life that they used to live in the lifestyle that they used to have if they could have done things differently their lives would have been different now there's nothing that is a great motivation to a person than another person believing in them and giving them that opportunity to change giving them that opportunity to be a better person there has to be someone who is better so that they can make the other person better the third mistake that people are going to make they're going to think too much about the past and ignore what is before them. And the fourth mistake that people are going to make in terms of choosing a husband or a wife is that they're going to ignore the signs that are being presented before them that this person is just wrong. Even if they, they maybe can change in the future, but in the current moment, there is no sign that they have any desire to change. This is not to say that this future, um, the future of this man or the future of this woman is completely written off. One thing that I like to say is that never write anyone off in terms of changing. Never write anyone off in terms of repenting. Never write anyone off in terms of reformation and correction so that there could be better people so that there could be better people who can contribute good to our society. Never write anyone off. But if you're looking for a wife, you are looking for a wife. You are looking for a husband. And currently, this person is not it. Because he does not have the character that says that I see that I have a bad character or I have a I have had some bad things which I've done in the past and I have remorse and I want to change and I have goals to reform and correct so that I can become a better person. You see in the way that the person speaks to people. When you're out on a date, you see how this person speaks to the waiter or the waitresses. He's just done around this disrespectful he can leave a tip at the end but he is just a bad person he doesn't know how to speak to people and of course because he is still trying to court you he is still trying to impress you when he's with you he's not you know when he speaks to you he's not using bad language he's not using disrespectful language but even in your presence when he's speaking to another person he's using charm language he looks down on people he put down people he put he put people I mean, he put people down for their jobs. He put people down for their education, for maybe for their weight, for their size. He's short. He's stupid. This is how he speaks. But when he speaks to you, he speaks to you in a respectful manner. That means that he has this character which is reserved for you and he has another character which is reserved for other people. This is not possible. A character cannot pick and choose and say, I'm going to be respectful to a short person and I'm going to be disrespectful to a, a tall person or I'm going to be respectful to a white person and I'm going to be disrespectful to a black person. That is, the, the, this is just telltale signs that this person is hateful, is racist, is disrespectful. He just puts down everyone for whatever reason and he's always going to look for something wrong in that person to put them down with and but don't just stay away from them tell them what you think is wrong with them so that they could see that because sometimes people don't see that it is wrong to be hateful it is wrong to put people down for their size or you know for their height or for the way that they look or for their skin tone so it's, it's good to tell a person that you know what i would have really liked to go out of you and try to establish a relationship for marriage but I see that you just don't, you know, you don't have the kind of character that is that is good for a relationship or for a marriage. So you could, you could, when you're a man, you could find a woman who is beautiful, who is all that. And but the problem is that she's not settled. And remember, you're looking for a wife. You're not looking for to play around. 
So you're dating in in mind, thinking about a future, thinking about a family, thinking about a wife. But she is not settled, you see. And when I'm saying settled, I don't mean like she's relaxed and, and just letting herself go, not taking care of herself. No, she does take care of herself. But the problem is that she's not settled in terms of saying that whatever that you put forward, it's never good enough. It's like, if you drive this kind of car, she thinks, no, you know, I like that car better. You know, you see that one that so-and-so is driving and she's talking about another man who drives a better car than yours, you see. So she's not settled in what you're presenting and she's, she's not, is it, there's a difference between a person who wants a better life for both of you in terms of saying, okay, maybe we should think about having a better car, a nicer car, than a person who's always pointing out at another person and another person's possessions and saying that, you know what, uh, your Audi is nice, but you know, so-and-so is Benz. Have you seen it? It looks so beautiful. And she's telling you all these things about other men's things. So this person is clearly telling you that you're never going to be good enough. And whatever you give to, the, to her, it's never going to be enough because she's always talking to you about other people who have better things than you, who has better possessions or who looks better so but when she starts saying all these things about having a certain physique like the, and literally always pointing out the people you should look like pointing out other men should look like this person is clearly telling you that no you're not the person that you know that she would want to spend the rest of her life with because she's not subtle her eyes are everywhere she's focused everywhere she's not focusing on you she's always talking about stuff that you don't have not focusing on the stuff that you do have so in the very same vein you must also come up front and be honest you know what i think that you're a nice lady and I think that maybe another time things will work out, but you're just not settled. Your eyes are everywhere. You need to be able to focus on one thing. And you were supposed to focus on me, but you're not focusing on me. You're focusing on what's happening around me. There will always be another man who's much more better than me in, in most things, you see. But you have to learn to love the things that I'm presenting before you. And when you you leave, you are also telling her what is wrong with her. And then she also can learn to correct, to reform, to become a better person who can focus on what is on the table and what's on the menu so that she could enjoy what has been presented before her. So those are the four you know, reasons that you are most likely to marry the wrong person. And like I promised, I said that at the end, I will give you the one thing that can make you find the right person you as a person you're not perfect you as a woman you're not perfect you as a man you're not perfect every man in the world every woman in the world will always have characters virtues which they have a strong point they're very strong at this some women are very patient they listen you see but they have one problem they are not forgiving they don't forgive no matter what you have done how little no matter how repentant you feel no matter how much you can try to apologize they just don't forgive you see but they do listen and they are patient but if you are gonna make a mistake they don't forgive so this kind of woman who is like that he should be looking for a man who is forgiving you see a man who will give you an opportunity to repent an opportunity for redemption that man when he comes together and become one with this woman they make a perfect one which is understanding and patient and forgiving when you meet this man whom you are not forgiving as a woman but the thing is that you make mistakes also so you make mistakes you know, you do something wrong to this man. And if it was you, you would never forgive him. But because he's forgiving, because he's kind, because he's sympathetic of your flaws, of your incompleteness, of your imperfections, he is forgiving. And he really does forgive and give you an opportunity for redemption, an opportunity for reformation and correction. And through what he does, you learn to be much more forgiving. You see, because you're going to love this about him, that even in your flaws, flaws, even in your mistakes, even in your imperfections, he's always going to be there to support you, to make you better.
to make you much more better person. So you learn that forgiveness is good because if this man, if this man was not forgiving, you would have lost him. You see, so he is teaching you that you need to be forgiving so that you could enjoy a relationship, so that a relationship could last longer. That's how you become a better person. Realize how you don't need money to be forgiving, how you don't need to be uh, pleasing to the eye, beautiful or handsome to be forgiving. It has to be taught by somebody. And the best person to teach you this will be your husband or your wife. You see, so when you choose a mate, when you choose somebody that you're going to marry, when you choose your future husband or your future wife, he should be bringing things to you which you don't have, which you lack. And then if you're looking for her, she should be, a wife should be bringing to you the things, the characteristics, the virtues that you don't have, which you lack, so that they could make you a better person. That is all that I have to say about this topic, four reasons why you married the wrong person. And I hope that you have really been helped by this. And I hope that next time you're not going to judge from appearances. And if you really like content like this, you can subscribe to my channel. So you can get more and more contents like this. Thank you for listening.